Hey guys, welcome back to the Ultra Gen TV show. This is... Vicious. Wow, and that was like the massive redirect there. That was like the... Misdirection. This is... You missed it when I was doing the fake interviews for ESL today. Oh, Did you yeah, see those? Yeah. I was doing so much work. I asked Oliver Queen a question, and I put the mic like on the side of his head, and he was like, well, you know, he's like trying to talk into it. And then I was like, so how do you feel about this matchup? And then I, like, I hit him with it. It was so good. They were, they were like freaking out. Oh, man. I'm so James good. Chen. Yeah, wait a minute. Say Jam. All right, so let's get back to this. We are going to talk about some uh, upcoming events that are coming up. Thing that I've ever said. Um, what? Hmm? Nani? 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 Uh, Bunch of nerds. <laughs> <laughs> this is just not going well at all today. It's where is David? It's it's fantastic. It's interesting because uh, th there's nothing this weekend. I feel like everybody is getting ready for Capcom Cup, Capcom which is Cup. coming the, the the following weekend. Like I don't really have anything listed here. In I ain't doing of, anything. Yeah, I'm just getting ready for Thanksgiving. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm gonna get it's gonna be it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a disaster. Yeah, that's probably more um it's probably more uh Thanksgiving's fault that there's nothing this weekend yeah, than it is yeah. uh that's exactly it, to be honest with you. Everybody's like mm -hmm. spending time with their family. I'll be streaming this weekend and I'll probably be doing like match analysis. Looks like there's gonna be a Dream Hack winter this weekend, but I think that's mostly for Smash. So. Yeah, I don't think there's any FGC stuff. Yeah. Wow, um, did you just really just exclude Smash from FGC? I meant You heard it here! Sejam does not support Smash in the FGC! No, I'm kidding. Bum bum bum! Yeah, there's uh, there's no like Street Fighter or... What else does DreamHack do? They only do like Street Fighter and Smash, right? Uh, sometimes they do Mortal Kombat, right? Did, did they, they do Mortal Kombat before? I thought they did. Do we know if they're doing stuff for fighting games next year? I know I, that they announced No, because they hired J Jabali, Jabali, right? right? If they hire Jabali and then they're going to get Jabali to do Hearthstone, I think that's going to be the be biggest very mistake. Weird. Yeah. 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 Pretty cool, but... And then oh. Jabali would be like, I deserve my own card. And then he would get a card and he'd be talking about it for every day. Yeah. He'd be kind of be like a Leroy Jenkins, Jenkins kind of card. If you ever talk to Jabali and you make it more than three sentences and he hasn't brought up CEO, then you're in like the Twilight Zone. Oh, uh, pretty It's much. crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyways, uh, so other things coming up soon. Uh, let me see. I thought I had a few things here. Come on, James. I, I was supposed to organize this during the break, but we, we went off so much track that I completely forgot. Wait a minute. The Evo trailer came out. It yeah. did. Yeah. The Evo trailer came Where's out. Where is Evo Moments? What are you talking about? Oh, they the highlight, moments, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah where has like, Evil Moments been? They haven't done it yet, Richard, right? Yeah, well, Richard Lee, get on the ball here. You're the one who always does that, so there you go. <laughs> All right, do it. Flip what? the flip the water bottle. Let's do the no, do you no, have no. special do the, skills. Do the, oh. the, the, the water bottle. Do the challenge. Do it. Do oh, it. Where you like flip it on the top? No, no, right? no. You grab the top. Dude, you don't oh. know about this. Oh. oh my God, you're terrible, Jeremy. I was just showing him an example. All right, that's it. Done deal. You want me to try? Nope. Slide it back over. I got it. Come on, guys. <laughs> Damn it. So uh, David made a nerdiness scale of ranking, power rankings for us. On the us. chat just yeah. now? Really? He said number one nerd is Steve, then James, then me, then David. I... That sounds pretty accurate to me. Yeah, I think that's correct. I think that's correct. Steve, Tasty Steve. Oh! Swing and a miss. <sighs> but yeah, Tasty Steve has a lot of like... Marvel Steve is definitely number his one. Well, he's, he's, he's very like much a joke, comic joke. Guy. He's more of a weeb than I am, you know what I mean? So, you know, that kind of all falls in there. Yeah, so. I have weeb stuff, but I think you still beat me. Yeah. No, I think that's... that's Steve in Japan? Japan. About him, though. Have you guys been watching Ripstream, them from Japan? No, I haven't. Steve bought a $300 one-piece jacket. I, mean, I could not believe Tasty like, Steve. I mean, I just feel like... That's I'm gonna keep my comments. How much would he spend on a three-piece jacket? I mean, come on. <sighs> you know, James. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Damn, I lost that. I was like trying so hard not to laugh. Like, you know, sometimes, James. <laughs> the thing about that is, you don't do it. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do that. No, no. <laughs> you... How can? How can he? <laughs> It is going to be in the Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, on July 14th through 16th, but it is entirely, 
in the Mandalay Bay, which is the biggest announcement yeah, yeah, yeah. for this year, and I am super excited about yeah. that. So Evo is all Damn at the Mandalay Bay. Is it like the the stadium, like the kind of convention? I assume. Yeah? I must or is it going to be like a ball? ballroom first? Like I, first I, couple I, see, that's what I'm assuming the main stage. Be, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But dude, if, can you imagine if Evo was like actually in the like the center? Of Logistically, I would rather it not be because right. you still have to get a ton of matches going. Right. But and if it was like you're on stream, travel like ten minutes to this area. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> big, but that but would honestly, be it would be impossible because the amount yeah, of setup you need. Because like the people. I feel bad for the people who had to set up that stadium last year because they're pretty much there from Friday to Sunday. Fun fact about that, yeah. Uh, I saw Seglia and Spencer Friday, mm-hmm. like before Evo, or Thursday, I think, before mm-hmm. Evo started, mm-hmm. right? And they're like, yeah, it's good seeing you guys. I'll see you Sunday. They spent all of Evo weekend setting up all Just the technical Sunday, side yeah. of things for Sunday. And, and, and in case people don't know this, I know we've mentioned this on the show before, but the greatest thing about that ESPN2 broadcast, it was entirely FTC produced. Yep. Yes. Like it wasn't yes, like it was. ESPN came in and brought their staff and like, <laughs> you're going to do it this way. No, it was Seglia, there was Tenno Productions, it was those guys who did the entirety of that ESPN broadcast. So what you saw on TV was created and produced by pure FTC people, and it was yeah. super cool. And I really hope it's uh, done again next year i really wanted to be you know get some ESPN yeah if it coverage. is on espn2 again amazing. so 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 buttholes what what games do you think will be at evo this year yeah, i saw david ask that yeah david asked, that's the that's the way david phrased it so i have to phrase it that way because uh so the thing is it really depends on whether they want to run nine games or not again because mm-hmm. it's how many they ran this year so let's break it down real quick uh so i think break it that, down break it down i think there are a few games that are for sure and then there's a bunch of, okay so think about it like this Tekken comes out this year, but mm-hmm. it's already been in Evo twice. I think Tekken will be there because it's a new game. Right. Yeah. KOF is a new game. I'd be very surprised if KOF came out and it was not at Evo. Yes. And then Injustice 2. Right. It was going to come out this year. I'd be very... Like, that has to be one of the main games. Okay. Injustice has got to be one of the uh-huh. main games. And then Street Fighter Five. Street yeah. Fighter Five. And then probably both Smashes. Probably both Smashes. We're at six. That makes sense. I hope Guilty Gear stays. Seven. Two more. Pokken, probably? You're at uh, two more games. I don't yeah. know if Pokken will come back. I think the games that are really the borderline ones are pro- like that are like kind of wishy washy. Blaze Blue just had a new version. Oh, Blaze Blue might be Blaze. Back, yeah, so Blaze Blue just had a new a new game. Pokin is kind of like on the uh, edge. Marvel. Marvel and Killer, Killer Instinct. Instinct. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. And, and, and MKX. MKX. Yeah. Jesus, there's the new so MK many good games. Might be on the board because and Justice new... will probably be there. And right. I don't know about MK. Dude, there's so many good, good games. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do. Like I, I. I hate being the Evo staff because it's like no matter what you pick, you're gonna have all these people mad at you. What if they extended it to like ten games? Then they'd be dead. I mean, it really just comes down to space, size, and time, right? If you have so the way that I've always said this, right? It's the two things are time and money. Sure. If you have more time, then you can do it. If you mm-hmm. don't have more time, then you need more money because okay. then that buys the space that buys the setup, right. that pays the extra stream. Because if you have, let's say we get to 11 games, right? That means more games need stream time. That means you have to hire a whole new stream setup mm. and a whole new section to be able to stream that. And then you got to pay for a bigger bandwidth for your internet right. and everything like that. And more commentators on And more commentators. So if you don't have the money, then you can also make Evo four or five days. Mm. Now, Wizard put out a, a poll for that, and for the first time, people actually said, maybe four days will work. That would be pretty interesting. And if, that's, if it gets to that point, yeah, then Evo can do 11, like 10, 11 games. Yeah. But it's either time or money. One of those things has to be the solution to get more games, because <clears throat> you can't just add games and just say, yes, we can do this. Yeah. You know, because it works. even this year, games were fighting for very limited... Uh, stream time like KI did not have KI had stream time for pools and like up to top 64 mm-hmm. or 32 and then like 32 to 8 was off stream right you have to think like a lot of games are fighting just to have like those semis or other situations on stream mm-hmm. so it's like really one of those crazy times where like even if you do add an additional stream or something like that there's a certain cap I feel like in how many streams you can even have at an event before viewership is so split mm-hmm. that, and like mm-hmm. you can how many streams can you realistically watch at once like maybe two <laughs> when you start to try to watch three streams at once, eh, you know, it's really not it's like, tough even now. if you have two streams, you can really only watch one yeah, seriously. But, or you could do what Tekken did and put three streams three on matches. one stream. Yeah, three matches on one stream. Yeah, oh that my was God. ridiculous. That's that kind of crazy. crazy. Yeah, but crazy. yeah, like, it's one of those things where, like, mm-hmm. the more streams you have, the harder it is to find what you want to watch because, like, 
man, it gets really hard to determine what you want to watch. So if Evo has like eight streams, it's like, how do I even choose what I want to watch right. at that point? It's exactly. like so hard to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, there's a certain split that's really difficult. But I think next year, maybe 10 games might happen. And, uh, Dude, shout outs to some crazy. of these people that they're talking about that they've watched four streams before. Like you guys are gods. Because look, there's obviously there's no a multi Twitch which you can do that kind of yeah. automatically. But dude, this guy in the chat here says he did four with three screens and a TV. He actually that's had, amazing. Yeah, that's so like that's three hardcore. maximized. That's hardcore. That's tough. Yeah, that's really difficult to do. Yeah. But I mean, shout out to you if you can do it. I mean, I can watch one stream at once and a second stream. Just trying to dissect like... one match at a time is kind of like difficult already. Yeah, I'm just saying. Um, at high level, it's just kind of yeah. Yeah, it gets difficult. If there's like downtime on one stream, though, that's when you watch the other. It's like how you do it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, let's go this one here. But yeah, it's kind of difficult oh, to call. Actually, what would the last like? couple of games would be with uh, all the possible games coming out or there's you know, yeah there's like expansions. four new games right I mean I'd really love to see yeah. uh, MKX again with the rework that would be mm-hmm. such such a blow up I know right it's like MKX the non the non alien patch right yeah so. <laughs> it's like they just got this cool new patch and then like it's really it's just not gonna happen because of now and it's just not gonna happen because of injustice or they run two NRS games that's crazy either way it's gonna be interesting to see what happens I mean, if they could run two Smash games, you know. Yeah. They could try it again with mm-hmm. another game. Yeah, NRS games. Well, uh, fortunately, we don't have to make that decision. So the Evo staff's the one that's going to get all the hate. So, uh, yeah. But again, I mean, honestly, because we're talking about this, when the announcement does happen, and they, I think they said it was going to happen sooner than it normally does. Like, yeah, they usually do it in January. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. But um, <clears throat> when the announcement happens, just keep that in mind. Right, like so. If you're if you're a game, if like Marvel doesn't come back, you're like, you guys are jerks. You guys hate fighting games. Yeah. You know, like this is the problem, right? Like I said, you either have to add more money or more time. That's just the way it works. Otherwise, or you're gonna have that turn. Like if you could add all the games, then you're gonna have that tournament's gonna run till three a.m. Yeah. and you're everything is gonna be behind. You yeah. know, and it, it, everything is gonna be a disaster. Yeah. So I hope you highlight that segment and put it up on YouTube because okay. I really want you to. Give him that lecture again. I'll do that. After so much. Yeah, did you see how, how much louder he got? He was looking right at me. He's like, let me tell you something, son. This is why we can't have these things, all right? I'm one of two down. things. It's time and money. Beating your knees or buttholes. You need one or the other <laughs> to run a big event. Uh, anyways, <laughs> that's uh, oh. good times. So see, much damage. God, why do you keep doing that? It's my bad. Boom. Anyways, uh... <laughs> So, uh, Majin Obama, uh, mm-hmm. a.k.a. at 2D Obama Jazz, <laughs> at 2D, 2D Jazz, you know, he's a fervent Guilty Gear fan who mm-hmm. lives in Japan. He's done a lot of work with Joni Osan in the Mikado Arcade, organizing exhibitions and such. Uh, the Tenkaichi Budokai yeah. is a Guilty Gear League in Japan, and I just retweeted this information out uh, earlier. Um, but he has some documents and some information on how you can go vote for your favorite Guilty Gear players to play in this uh, in this league that's going to be coming up. So if you guys want, if, I mean, like this, usually a lot of the matches he have, he'll have FAB in there, he'll have you know Nage, he'll have all the greatest players in there. So if there's anybody you want to see, like I would try to get Karinchu in there, right? Because I want to see some Johnny action, right? Nice. So um, some solid slaps. Definitely check that out. Uh, like I said, I have it. Uh, I retweeted it out just a little bit earlier today. So, and uh, I think Steve was a- also able to retweet it as well. He's in Japan playing Guilty Gear. That's so sick, by the way. He's he was in Japan, and he's getting win streaks too. In Guilty Gear, I was watching him. I was watching Rip stream Japan uh, Tekken from Japanese arcade. Yeah, I think Steve was going to Mikado today. That's yeah, so him and him and Rip are competing in like a, a, a Japanese tournament today. That's like single elimination. First one. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Rip is playing Guilty Gear? No, he's no, no, playing no, Tekken. Uh, Tekken. Oh, Tekken 7. Okay, but okay, okay. I, I, Rip was streaming Tekken, and then, like, he wins a match, and you hear, like, a yell in the background, mm-hmm. and he, like, walks away, and he comes back, and he comes back up, and he grabs the mic, and he's like, Tasty Steve just got demoted in Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, Steve, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was really funny. Uh, also, another really, really cool thing for future events is that SNK announced the King of Fighters 14 Yo, esports support right. program. So I'm going to I'm going to bring this up here. So what this actually is is that SNK says that 
Any event now has the ability to apply to be part of their tournament season. And uh, you can see here, the um, they will ask for, a, so you, basically you apply, you get additional support, such as prize pool bonuses, as well as world championship qualifying no spots. Uh, the only limitation is the event should be an offline tournament taking place before August 31st, 2017. Uh, or January 29th, 2017, for those that want to become World Championship qualifiers, and have a minimum of 20 participants. So uh, they are really going in full bore into this, uh, into the esports world here. And I think that's exciting because I I'm really kind of s frustrated um, that King of Fighters 14 came out. Everyone was super hyped for it. Everyone mm. talked about it. And I don't feel like people are talking about the game anymore. No. I don't like I don't, that at all. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. And it's a great game. I like it. And I feel bad because I haven't been playing it on stream as much as I want to because I've been playing a more Street Fighter Five yeah. on there. Yeah. But, like, this is a good game. It's a fun game. It's not as hard to get into like 13 was. And uh, hopefully, you know, this will help spur on some more uh, support for KOF 14. I would hope so. Yeah. It's such a, great, such a great game to watch, too. Mm -hmm. It's so spectator friendly, in my opinion. Just I so think... much action going on. The reason we don't see much about it is because, like, it came out when the tournament season was over. Yeah. I like, you have to think, yeah. right, the tournament season really starts around, like, the start of next year mm -hmm. all the way through up to EVO. That's, like, the busiest time of the year, right? So, like, that is the time of the year where, like, all the big events are going to happen. Yeah. Like, it's not like KOF has been at, like, CEO and, like, Combo Breaker and, you know, mm -hmm. NCR, SDR. Right. And, uh... Uh, final round like all out of one big year right it's mm -hmm. like it really hasn't had that year to do all of that it's only been at like what SCR was the only game it was like or the only tournament has been officially out yet <clears throat> uh, I mean I, I see I mean obviously a lot of people are you know making jokes about how ugly the game is or whatever like that but yeah. like Honestly, by the time you're playing, you don't even notice. Right? Yeah. And, you know, I mean, yes, it's a problem. I obviously made a big old talk on how to make your game spectator-friendly, and that is not a spectator-friendly game necessarily, but it's a really fun game. Please try to look past the graphics. The, I'm sure it'll improve as time goes on as they come out with KOF 14, you know, real bout battle edition or whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. Plus, sign next to it, make it look good. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Fight so. to burn. 2017. Hashtag, are you okay? <laughs> I actually, so I wanted to like name my 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 uh, ranked educational matches series, and I wanted to call it "Learn to Fight." You know, as like a you know a part of, of burn to fight. fight. Yeah. But so then clever. Muffin Man suggested I should name it "Fight to Learn," and I was like, I kind of like that actually. I wonder if that's the same Muffin Man I'm thinking of. Are you thinking of Daryl Austin? The Definitely guy who not. Plays Super That's Turbo. Not the same guy. No, it's not the same Muffin Man, right? Man. The other Muffin can... Man's a degenerate that hangs out in my chat room. XX One. XX Muffin Man XX One. No, that's a different one. No, I gave that guy homework last time I finished my stream. I wow, you gave him. I didn't even give homework at one. I, I was homework. at a college and I gave a lecture I and I didn't give anyone homework. school. Your muffin man it. sounds like a great guy. No, my muffin man is a jerk, but he's oh. really cool. He's no, Daryl's cool. cool. No, Daryl's. My nice. muffin man is a degenerate. I can't, pretty funny. I can't say that publicly, Jeremy. I have to talk shit about muffin man all the time. Right, right, right. Because the thing about muffin man is every time he plays super turbo, right? He oh mirrors God. me and Cammy. Let me oh tell you about Cammy. God. <laughs> he turned on the extra regular James impression. <laughs> Dang, easy. that was crazy. Too easy. Whoa. Notice how he's pretty salty about that one. <sighs> oh no. Here it comes. Here it comes. Dang, he got you good, you know. Jerk face. Follow him. <laughs> right, right, right. The thing about him being a jerk and having a face is you have yeah. to be synonymous with each other and be jerk face, yeah? Uh, yeah. That's uh. hard. <laughs> You guys are both something special. David must be rolling around in his bed like, why, guys? <laughs> He's got to deal with this. He wouldn't this is what happens. The, old, the yeah, mirror match. Whoa. Dude, this I mean, we say this every time when David's not here, the show goes off the rails. You and know what's weird is that he's really right. not like a responsible... Uh -huh. Like record keeper, it's just like when he's here, we just don't go as nuts. I don't know why. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's that stern look, you know. It's like that. He just he's a lawyer, there, right? Typing away. We're just afraid. Looking at us angrily. We're, we're all scared. We're gonna get sued. So there you go. That's true. Um, so <laughs> I've never had to do an an extended David impression because you know. That's kind of automatic. <clears throat> yeah, it's just there. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Come on, man. That was. No, I just, I, mean, I naturally have a, what is your problem? No. Moving on. 
So you have to learn how to make the the, the flatulent fart noise, and then then you can really. No, he just uses like all tongue for that one. It's mm-hmm. just kind of. Well, I mean, David's are... really good at using all. He's tongue. so I mean, good at. That. Uh, so I've heard. So I've heard. Let's go into the oh, okay, um, game news. Game news. Let's talk about game. Actually, let's take a. You want to take a quick break and we'll come back. <laughs> we can just, just keep going. Just I'll just handle it. Okay, 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 okay. What is it? Yeah, um, we're cruising right along. Um, I'm glad you know, SNK is really giving a uh, running start for QF14. Yes. Yeah, man. I think that's. I think that's an amazing opportunity for Speaking players of in the community. Running start Daytona three. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, yeah back yeah, in arcades. Uh, uh-huh. I'm yeah, kind of excited about that. I'm kind of I mean, that. Dude, I, I said that if they came out with Daytona for PlayStation VR, that might actually make me want to get PlayStation VR. I mean, you're only turning left. But you're right, so you're bad at motion sickness stuff, right? Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm worried good. about, to be honest. You're only turning left. You're fine. Have you tried VR much? I have not. In fact, I wanted to try it at the school, but they were like, oh, our thing isn't, the latency isn't good yet. Mm-hmm. So they're like, you'll probably get sick. If so. you guys want to see James Chen run a scary game in VR, put some ones in the chat right now. That I would, would be love to hilarious. see that. hilarious. I'll, I'll even I'll even help like get that started. Dude, I'm telling you. So my one of my Horror friends, games. one of my friends, when he plays horror games, like he's not scared of anything at all. And sure. we used to do this thing where we would gather, like there would seriously be like six or seven of us all watching, all Here watching us play, Here all watching Silent Hill together. So we would play Silent Hill three together, Silent Hill two together, and I would always be the one controlling it. And like every time we get to a door, I'm like. God, here we go. <laughs> here we go. And we go into the door, right? And then every once in a while, another person would play. And then my other friend, Jason, like, he would play. And he would just walk in the doors and be like, what are you doing? He's you like, don't do that. And, like, here's a dog. Like, the dog, he's like, whatever. Just walk <laughs> past the dog. And we're like, no, son. And, like, we never oh, let him yeah. play the game ever again. Dude, no. We never let him play. He was a professional. Though. Yeah, I don't like yeah, that guy. Uh-huh. I get so worried about horror games. Even though I know something's going to happen, I'm like, this is going to suck. Like, I just know yeah, it's going to uh-huh. suck. I'm like, this is going to suck so bad. Yeah. Like yeah. even games that are not really horror games but have jump scares get me. Uh-huh. So one of my one of my other friends who didn't get to play Silent Hill two with us played Silent Hill three with us, and then we were just running along and a dog went all of a sudden came out and we went Rrr, like that and like what was it? How do you go? Rrr. Okay, so yeah. Just... And then someone one of the girls they would just like scream like at the highest pitch and my other friend was like I'm really glad you invited me this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Sick. sometimes we play H one Z one together and oh. I walk into a building and someone has like a gun before me and like the noises I make the screams. Is it the Ned Flanders scream? <laughs> I just run for my life and I'm like oh my god he's got like I just start screaming like really. He turns into the biggest nerd dude. Ever. I scream. I screamed. Uh, I screamed. I streamed until dawn actually. I, but I didn't capture it. I didn't like save Somebody it Somebody did anywhere. for you, apparently. No, I mean, no, that was a different clip. Yeah, that was a different clip. But I actually did the whole game in one day. So, wow. Yeah. That's impressive. That was Is that a short game. game? It's a short game. You could beat it in like six or eight hours. So oh. I just played for eight hours in a row and just did the whole thing. It's not bad in the world. It's pretty fun. Anyways. Uh, game news. Game news. Game news. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, Brawlhalla has announced a brand new character coming out. Ooh, uh, the cross or cross, I guess his name is. Huh. Uh, Brawlhalla, of course, which is the two uh, D uh, Smash ish kind of game. Mm-hmm. They call yeah. it a platform fighter. I really like the design. Yeah, reminds me of uh, C Jack from the EX series. For some Dude, reason, I'm so mad I forgot him in that quiz. Oh, God. Wait, so there's that quiz visual. on the Street Fighter subreddit where it was like, remember all the characters. Or all eighty nine Street Fighter characters from all Street Fighter he, games. He missed like nine. Yeah, nine characters. I thought it was eight. I, I missed that. eight EXs and Poison. eight of them were EX, and then I forgot Poison from Street Fighter Four. Yeah, Dude, EX was my jam. I sucked at it, but I just loved the Dude, lore. Dude, I can't the believe I forgot okay, so Cracker Jack. I can't believe I forgot Garuda. I can't believe be- so right. Dude, I can't course. believe I forgot Blair. Blair. Oh my god, Combo Kick. How like how can I forget that, dude? Maraja Combo Kick. Right. I. Uh... I didn't get a single EX character. Mm-hmm. Or... Did you get Darren Mister though? I did With get the Darren. The Rumble Boom, that guy was cool. That guy was cool. Like was... Yeah, yeah exactly. man. Uh-huh. I got every... Indure <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh. Exactly. I, love that game. I got <laughs> every playable character from Street Fighter 2 to 5. I just missed the EX characters and then like the non-playables in the first one in Street Fighter that I just mm-hmm. didn't know. Mm-hmm. I got Eagle, though. 
Pull and burn up. Yes. <laughs> what the heck? What a bunch of nerds. <laughs> it was a fun game. It was. It was really fun. I was like, like one of the I've first Street Fighter games game. to have like a trial, um, a trial mode. Right. And can you believe this guy didn't get Cycloid Gamma and Cycloid Beta and Area? I mean, come on. And Nanase. Those don't count. You can't count the cyborg or the cycloids. They were counted. They were counted in, in there. They were counted in that. <laughs> Good body. But I, I got it. I would have lost it. Cy- the one that was the wireframe, the, the one that was the wireframe, though, had the best ending ever, though. Mm. He's running along a giant grid. He runs up the wall. He runs on the side. He runs down the wall. He runs on the floor. A little wireframe dog walks next to him. They run into the sunset. That I day. don't remember that. <laughs> Dude, Street Fighter EX, like, one time, so two of my best friends, they were over, and all we were trying to do was beat the game with everyone just to see the ending because yeah. Street Fighter EX endings were the dumbest things ever yeah. because they were all had the same background music, and they all made no sense. Yeah, uh park. Yeah, the game is just like ah. And like Gaio like flash kicks off the wing of the airplane. Yeah, you see Doctrine Dark like clinging onto the edge of it. Like, that dude, cool. that whole, and then like another ending was just like Hokuto was just standing there and everyone's like dead on the ground. Yeah, and that was like, kind of weird. Yeah, but we're not gonna get into that. Yeah, there was just like what's the? I had to stop there because we could go on forever. Yeah, sorry, dude. Dude, that music is so great, dude. That ending music, like, it became such an inside joke between us. Like, me and my friends, we would just sing that song everywhere we went because... Okay, you guys are nerds for sure. Man, that classic Street Fighter game, Street Fighter 4, what a hoot. God, game especially my, when they had, like, four different versions. Game of my childhood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like the... I care! Who cares? I care! <laughs> Jet Upper, I care! Thank you, Jet Upper. You have no dignity. For speaking... The will ban. of the people. Ban, I am 100% banning this Don't do it. Don't you do it. I'm him. I'll unban you. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh, my God. James, just let him, leave him be. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know we were actually doing it, so he was going to do it.